Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel, this time we have Woodcutter. This is a very interesting and quirky new mod that popped up on the Nexus. It aims to offer a somewhat realistic and fun way to play as a lumberjack in the world of Skyrim. This includes everything from the cutting and debranching of the tree to the crafting of hundreds of wooden, stone and ceramic objects in the game. It also doubles up as the ultimate decorating mod to use alongside the Jackson's positioner, but first let's see how you get started. Around the sawmill and river wood you'll find several new pieces. On the table there's a new woodcutter's axe that you'll use for chopping down trees. The log pile is now storage for any nearby wood that you would gather, and finally there's also a new crafting bench called the sawhorse. But you can ignore most of that for now and just pick up the new axe. With the woodcutter's axe equipped you can pretty much go up to any tree in the game and chop it down. This includes pine, birch, dead and broken trees, and some bushes, just simply go up to it and start chopping. The amount of strikes it takes will depend on the size of the tree, and once you're done it'll fall in the direction that you first started hitting. If you're smart about your choice of tree and how you cut it down, then it should just fall and come to a complete stop. But if you do it near a hill or river then it might roll or float away, which makes the next part much harder. To receive the actual resources from the tree you need to debranch it. This is the final step and just requires more chopping when it's on the ground. Then depending on the size of the tree you'll receive several different resources, from logs, branches and firewood. Some are way too big to be realistically carried, but to avoid endless chopping, game logic lets you pick them up. As of right now the mod isn't compatible with the trees added by the flora overhaul, but a patch is coming soon. Also as far as we could tell the trees don't grow back, so your harvesting of Skyrim's landscape will have permanent or at least long lasting effects on the world. It also lets you carve out a camping site in one of Skyrim's forests, which is a fun side effect. The second part of the mod revolves entirely around crafting. With the new wood resources you can craft hundreds of wooden objects, from furniture to crafting equipment and more. These stations cover everything that's craftable in the mod, but sometimes the new items leak into the vanilla stations too. Think of any useful wooden object in the game and you can make it. This includes beds, training equipment, chests, furniture of all styles and more. To place them you simply just drop them from your inventory, but for more precision it relies on the Jackson's Positioner mod. If you're interested in learning how the Positioner works then we'll include a link down below, but keep in mind that thanks to recent updates it's even more responsive and easier to use than our video shows, but it'll help you get the gist of things. Not all of the craftable objects are made of wood. The mod actually uses a lot of the resources added by Hearthfire, like quarried stone to create stone objects. This lets you craft stone walls, furniture, crafting stations and more. So again think of pretty much any useful object made from stone and the mod makes that craftable too. It also adds tailor scissors and knives to harvest materials from clothes and other objects made from fabric. These resources can then be used to make things like rugs and other cloth furniture. Basically I'm just trying to drill it into you that the mod makes almost every object craftable. Think of anything that looks placed in the world and you can pretty much guarantee that you can make it from scratch, which is pretty cool in my opinion. The mod is still technically in beta, although we didn't stumble upon any real issues. We'd only like to see the mod cleaned up a bit. Because of Skyrim's crafting system and how the mod works, the craftable items come with a lot of duplicates in the menus. For example, because every tree produces a different type of wood, you have to have several options for certain wooden objects, even though they all produce the exact same item. We'd also like the new craftables to be locked into the new crafting stations only. It's a little jarring to see the new items on the vanilla stations, and we think it'd be much easier and compact if it was all on its own separate package. But overall the mod is very interesting and combined with the positioner mod it's a fantastic decorating mod, where everything can be made from scratch with your own bare hands. If you're interested in giving a mod a go then you can find everything you need down below, if you're in between playthroughs then maybe you can find another game on G2A to keep you busy. And as always be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, and thanks for watching.